Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we got the data download on both Global and JP. Uh, JP's one was a couple of hours ago, but the Global one has hit recently. And we have the full thread breaking down everything from our boy Proton as usual. As always, shout out to the GOAT. Make sure you check him out, uh, follow him on Twitter if you want all of this information compiled nicely after the data download hits and you can find it all in one place. So obviously we were expecting the inclusion of all the stuff that we saw announced yesterday, physical LR, Prime Battle Bio Broly, the EZA for Goten and Trunks, including finding out what the weakness category for their event is. Of course, I will make a team building guide as always for the EZA that will be up later today. We also have the details for the Tech Bio Broly free to play EZA because we saw the announcement yesterday that that movie edition Extreme Z area was getting a new stage added with the Tech Bio Broly in the banner art. Um, and we have some stuff for the new stages as well. So we're going to go through the thread, break everything down here and uh, go over the Bio Broly details at the end as well. So do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, check out our boy Proton. But yeah, let's take a look. So obviously all the stuff there in the files. Uh, we have the Bio Broly. So Bio Broly is coming out as expected, right, with him being announced. Normally this stuff is 48 hours before. So he is coming out tomorrow. Um, 7 a.m. UK time. So this will be what, like 11 p.m. Uh, PST and then 2 a.m. EST. Um, if that's still correct. I don't know about daylight savings we're going to get that here over in the UK at some point soon, which means the clocks go back and all of the early stuff is going to be even earlier for me. But yeah, 7 a.m. UK time tomorrow. For those of you used to the global timings, this is about, this is half an hour before banners usually come out on like a normal global schedule. So this is the prime battle event. Obviously it has the uh, three phases where you get Broly as the SSR, awaken him to TUR, and then you have the 777 medal grind to get him to the LR phase. However, not only does the stage already have a um, bonus drop, which is Hybrid Saiyans, there are also missions for getting extra medals as well. So this grind should be much, much easier than any previous Prime Battle ones that we've had before, especially like at least from day one. A lot of the time I know people wait for the Prime Battle LR events to come back with their campaigns and get the bonus drops and stuff like that because it makes it a lot easier to farm the characters. But these are going to be available straight away. So hopefully it won't take too long. I'll be live for the early stream. This guy basically comes out like when my early stream starts. So... Hopefully we'll just be getting him fully grinded out and then get the showcase made for him and uploaded straight away. So then, yeah, the EZA movie edition stage 15 return of the demon, which is the tech bio Broly. So that being added, the last stage, of course, added to this event was the STR Videl one recently. Um, but yeah, bio Broly, there's all the medals for him and uh, he'll be getting his EZA. Like I said, we'll go over his details here at the end of the video once we've finished talking about all the stuff in the data download. Then we have the Devil Awakens stage is getting a third stage. Obviously, we had one for movie eight, one for movie 10. Um, I mentioned it yesterday, but I like the way they've been doing the missions for those events, right? Where they're, they're not exactly cryptic clues, right? But the mission is like beat the event with the Saiyan that, uh, you know, Broly was obsessed with. And it just means Super Saiyan Goku. Like, but those specific characters also either buff or debuff Broly. Um... So I think, you know, I haven't seen them yet. They're probably, they will be in the data download now, I would imagine. But the um, missions will probably revolve around Goten Trunks, potentially Krillin, potentially Android 18. So we'll be checking those out. Those come out tomorrow at the same time as well. Um, then we have the Dragon Ball story. This is where the tech bio Broly is farmable from. Obviously his event being revamped into a Dragon Ball story uh, event. So it will be under the Dragon Ball story tab rather than the story part of the um, events tab. This means that the event gets completely reset. So obviously even if you're someone like me who's been playing the game for ages and has that event fully done, it all gets reset and can be recompleted uh, all the stages again. So you get a few extra stones. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Plus you might want to farm some extra copies get an extra SA5 copy of that Bio Broly so that you can get him to SA15 once he gets his EZA without having to waste any other uh, resources. Um, and that comes out at the same time as well, 7 a.m. 
Uh, and then, yeah, that has, what, five stages? Bonus drop resurrected warriors, so you can get the drops quicker. We have the uh, the cutscene, which is basically Bio Broly's intro, will be in the story event as well. Um, we have Demonic Attack Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This is the story event. Um, so we've got three new stages. Um, obviously, they mentioned in the news yesterday that the story event will be able to get drops to get EX skill orbs for the Int Super Saiyan Trunks and the Tech Paragus. Um, so make sure you check those out, get those farmed up. Um, and then we have the easy A details for physical trunks and goten. I say details of the event, right? We went over their actual easy A details yesterday. Now, for some reason, they've been doing this during the worldwide celebration on a few of these days where content drops, but their, their easy A comes out two hours after Bio Broly and all these other events and stuff release. However, in this instance, it could be much more useful um, than I think was it Broly got his easy A and he came out like after an event that would have been useful to use him in whereas this way it's the other way around because these guys the weakness category for their easy A is artificial life forms so you basically have two hours from when all the events drop to farm up the prime battle LR bio Broly and do like the tech bio Broly uh, easy A if you want to use them in the event because obviously they are artificial life forms characters so like I say, I will do a team building guide for that, which will be up later today. Uh, then we have a burst mode. So the burst mode is for Berserker of Destruction, which is the legendary Super Saiyan Broly event. Now, considering that in the last part, we got a burst mode for the actual new trio stage. Um, and of course, they were the Dokkan Fest exclusive in part one. Um, I feel like it doesn't confirm on here, but I feel like that this will be for the newest stage, right? The versus in Broly dokon fest stage since the uh, previous one was versus the trio which i quite like i said that about the trio one right normally we get these burst mode stages for super old events and um, it's kind of cool that we're getting them for the actual most recently released ones um so that'll have a bunch of missions obviously get the six thousand points we'll do the two videos for that as always this also comes out uh the two hours after um the other events and bio broly drop as well uh, then we have the support memory, Broly's Inner Power. This is because we're getting a bunch of these new stages, right? This is going to be in the data download ready for when you finished all of the phases. It's for the um, the blue zone, right? And then you get all of the... Um, is it the blue zone when it comes from? You get the support memory of the baby Broly saving Paragus from the explosion of Planet Vegeta. And this is one of those permanent buff support memories. So we finally get one for movie bosses. So we've had one for movie heroes what since the seventh anniversary we got that one with the uh like the call me kakarot one which buffed movie heroes so finally we get one for movie bosses uh, it's movie bosses or revenge 10 percent attack and defense permanently in battle and then for seven turns from the start of the battle key one for allies whose name includes broly or paragus so obviously the current iteration of like the team which is basically full broly um all getting buffed by this and getting extra key for seven turns which is quite useful for some of the ones that start off a bit slow and then build up i know a lot of people have complained about key issues with the int broly so even just having that one extra key can definitely be helpful as well then we have a support memory uh, that comes from i believe the new story event because it's tied into the bio broly movie uh, android's 18's fees so we've got android 18 and krillin there as well now this is one of those ones like the oolong or bulla go shopping where it increases the bonus drop effect so if you're farming something from a stage you can use this support memory and you get the extra drop rate i do believe obviously this one isn't upgraded but i do believe this is worse than both the other ones that we have but it is a different color of film as well so if you are going for like a big farm on something and you run out of the red and blue reels for the oolong and buller support memories you can then obviously still use this one with the green ones um so any kind of bonus boost is obviously useful then we have the title i am the devil himself cool broly title card uh, for completing all the unique missions related to the devil awakens stage um and then the title screen and home menu will have one of the bio broly osts playing uh, which is pretty cool and then we have some just scripted assets from the story event like Android 18 and Hercule, some Bio Broly ones. And there we go. So that is all the stuff in the data download. Pretty much everything in this is coming out tomorrow, whether it's coming out at 7 or 9. 
um, which again, like you guys should know that for your local times. Like nine o'clock is the time JP normally releases stuff. Seven o'clock for me is half an hour before the time Global usually releases stuff. But this Worldwide has had very similar release times for a lot of these events. So probably should be used to it by now. Um, and then let us have a quick flick over here to the Dokon info page and have a quick look at tech free to play bio Broly with his easy a so he is a movie bosses leader for 77 percent which is exactly what we would expect for a free to play uh, unit with an easy a um, and then he also gives tech types three key attack and defense 50 percent um, i believe before easy a his, his leader skill was literally just tech types so they've added in movie bosses which is pretty cool and then his super attack is greatly raised attack for one turn does supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. I mean, previously it was just does supreme damage. So, greatly raise attack for one turn, lowers attack. No defense on super, so that's interesting. We'll have to see how they supplement that in his passive, because I'm actually reading this for the first time here and now. So, no defense raise on passive can be concerning, or sorry, on super can be concerning, but we'll see how they get around that with his passive here. So, Key plus eight and attack and defense 102%. Interesting. 102%. That's a random number. Reduces damage received by 60%. Okay, so it has 60% damage reduction. Key minus two, no more than minus six. And damage reduction minus 20, no more than minus 60 with every two turns passed. So it's every time he's on rotation and if you're keeping him on main rotation, I guess. Uh, which is interesting because so turn one he's basically going to be guaranteed supering and he has 60 percent damage reduction then the next time he appears the key is not really that important because especially getting six key he should be fine but then he'll be down to 40 percent damage reduction um, and then obviously the next appearance it'll be down to 20 and then the next appearance it'll be down to zero from this initial starting set because i can see the one below Reduces damage received by 30% when facing only one enemy. So when you're facing only one enemy, on turn one, he has 90% damage reduction, which is crazy. He gets a guaranteed crit when facing two or more enemies. Then he gets additional 180% attack and defense when performing a super. He recovers 10% HP and gets an additional 100% attack at the start of turn, starting from the next attacking turn after receiving an attack. So... I feel like that it makes it seem like that's permanent because it says starting from the next turn after receiving an attack. So as soon as he gets hit once, every turn he recovers 10% HP and has an extra 100% attack is the way that reads to me. Um, and then he gets an additional attack and defense 100% and an additional damage reduction of 40% starting from the 10th turn from his entry turn. Entry turn is a bit of a yikes uh, considering it's so many turns. So 10 turns, he gets extra stats and 40% damage reduction. So the way this is going to work against a single enemy is that he starts off with 90% damage reduction. Then his next appearance, he's going to have 70. Then he's going to have 50. Then it drops down to 30. Um, and then if you then get to his 10th turn, it then goes back up to being 70 um and obviously after he's taken a hit he's healing at the start of the turn he's getting a bunch of extra attack um he gets most of, like obviously he gets 180 percent on super for attack and defense so i mean he definitely isn't a slot one unit although i mean on turn one against bosses that aren't like insanely powerful having 90 percent damage reduction means he probably could tank like a decent amount of stuff i guess because um, I always use the example when I talk about tanking and damage reduction of using like a 3 million damage super attack, right? Which there's not a lot of bosses that actually do hit that hard. But if we take 90% off of 3 million, that's only 300k left. So he only has to have like 300k defense start of turn and he would take double digits. Now as a free to play unit, he probably isn't going to have 300k. But even if he has like say 100k, which is not a lot... Um, he would be taking 200k from a 3 million damage super attack on turn one because he has 90 percent damage reduction but then of course that slowly starts to wear off so i think he's definitely going to be a liability on like when you get six turns in and he only has 30 percent damage reduction his post super defense like as a free to play character 102 percent start of turn 180 on super we're probably not looking at much higher than about 500k depending on links and support maybe 600 
with 30% damage reduction. I mean, it's not bad for tanking normals, but he's not going to be particularly crazy. So he's a, it's weird because he's really good on like the first turn, somewhat decent on the second turn. Then he gets worse. But then if you do somehow manage to get to 10 turns, then he's getting a bunch of extra stats and going back up to 70%. Although I know there's not a lot of fights in the meta, especially when you consider he's going to be run on the Broly team with all those other powerhouse Broly units. The chances of you getting to turn 10... I feel like are pretty unlikely, but certainly very interesting. I mean, you could have him on turn one, put him in slot three. Most bosses nowadays, there is the RNG chance that they will, but most bosses nowadays are supering fairly early in the turn. So if he's attacking in slot three, he's getting the 90% um, damage reduction, all the buffs, and then he comes back three turns later, which means only one of those procs for the two turns will have passed. So he'll have only lost the first like 20%. So then if he's on turn one and you float him off, he comes back on turn four, still has 70% damage reduction. You float him off in slot three again. He's not coming back till turn seven on the Broly team. The chances are you've won by the time you get to turn seven, right? Depending on the event. So he certainly could be useful. Um, it would be really nice if he had some like uncontrollable power category support. And then I feel like he would be a very solid option for running in slot three on that team. Otherwise, I'm not too sure because the LR Bio Broly is going to have the same name as him. So depending on if you're going to be running that LR Bio Broly on the team as well, then if you have this guy floating in slot three, but you've got the LR on rotation, they're going to clash like when they end up on the same turn. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Loads of stuff in the data download. Um, free to play Bio Broly actually looks like relatively decent, which is cool um funnily enough i already have him link level just for the memes since we knew we were getting a broly themed celebration he does only have six links though super saiyan saiyan lineage berserker revival nightmare and shattering the limit so unfortunately unlike the new lr version they didn't give this guy big bad bosses back in the day but which is why it's even more funny that the new one has it because this old free to play one doesn't have it so very interesting but yeah let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down below i'll be live tomorrow to do all of the uh, bio broly farming and then check out the lr live do the showcase so hopefully i will see you guys there so that is going to be it for the video this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below and i will see you all again soon have a good one